now after uh, praying at the lotus feet of um, durvasa then praying at the lotus sorry dhruva maharaj and praying at the lotus feet of ambarish maharaj now first we go to the bank of yamuna so when you go to that bank of yamuna there is a beautiful this yamuna bank is always crowded there will be hundreds and hundreds of people coming every day and taking bath and things like that and there is a beautiful beautiful yamuna devi temple so they are all yamuna saraswati all the seven rivers are expansions of ganga but still they were, they have all expanded and taken different forms to please the supreme lord so yamuna is also expansion of ganga but yamuna took birth as the daughter of surya dev you know so yamuna is always considered as sakhi as a gopi and ganga is always considered as mother ganga mata yamuna sakhi so yamuna is like a daughter of um, yamaraj uh, sorry so yamuna is daughter of surya dev surya dev had two children yami and yama yama is yamaraj and yami is yamuna yamuna is a sakhi actually yamuna didn't want to come to the material world yamuna never leaves the lotus feet of shrimati radharani and krishna especially yamuna being a sakhi a servant maid and a gopi of radharani she never yamuna never gets separated from radharani she always stays with uh, radharani so when when yamuna was sent to this material world yamuna was very upset initially she was not happy yamuna was very upset in getting separated from the lotus feet of the lord but then radharani promised not even krishna when krishna promises yamuna doesn't believe it so much so when radharani promised yamuna don't worry i will come personally and i will play all the leelas you know then yamuna became satisfied and yamuna came ahead of radharani some thousands and thousands of years ahead of radharani to purify the whole place because radharani had a condition if i am going to this material world i need three things dust of raja then yamuna then govardhan giri so all the three were brought and you can see the 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 intense of being separated for example our daughter had gone to studies or something like that and after one year she is coming back home or um, you know suppose like it is like a um, baby girl going to school and coming back in the evening you know or some very close beloved getting separated and they are meeting each other after a long time so every day the intensity will increase and yamuna's intensity was very deep yamuna was waiting for thousands and thousands of years not one or two days thousands and thousands of years the intensity is so deep so so heavy the intensity was right then that beautiful day of krishna's appearance yamuna was jubilant yamuna was overflowing on that day splashing the whole of madhuvan the whole of madhuvan was sprinkled with yamuna's waters and all the six seasons appeared all the time hemanta girishma shishira you know varsha everything vasanta all the six seasons and the, and the fruits and flowers of all the six seasons blossomed all the 27 stars in 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 the right position and the navagrahas are all blessing everything is beautiful about this material world the birds started talking the flower flowers started kissing you know the lions are holding the hands of bear and uh, goats and sheep are taking shelter of lion and all kinds of things so much of love pouring all over madhuvan 
and Yamuna was in the top most bliss because she knew today I will be meeting Krishna. And she was waiting and waiting, you know, with so much of hankering and all of a sudden, Vasudeva appeared with the basket. And Yamuna was jumping to see Krishna, but Vasudeva thought it's so raining and Yamuna is flowing wildly. How am I going to protect this baby Krishna? So Vasudeva was trying to cover the baby as much as possible in protecting. But Yamuna was simply waiting for that day and Yamuna could not see the lotus feet of Krishna. Right? And Krishna could understand that Yamuna is waiting. So Krishna will push his lotus feet out of the basket. And Nanda Baba, uh, Vasudeva will think, uh, no, no, what is this? Krishna's lotus feet is out. You know, rains are there and, uh, you know, it's not good for the baby. So he will cover it again. And Yamuna's separation is increasing. And Yamuna will raise up and Krishna will put his lotus feet out. And Vasudeva will cover it again. Again, Yamuna will raise. And Vasudeva is wondering what, what, why the river is so wild. Today is not Purnima. And today is not uh, this thing. Why the river is behaving so like this and so wild? So to protect Krishna, Vasudeva started lifting the basket. The more Vasudeva lifted, the more Yamuna started racing. Yamuna was in deep and somehow wanted to touch the lotus feet of Krishna and nothing else. And Yamuna was like racing and racing and racing. And Vasudeva was like holding his basket up in his upper bow head. And he was lifting it even above, even above, even above. And finally, Yamuna thought, if I raise even more, Vasudeva will be inside water. So immediately, Yamuna separated and gave beautiful pathway for Vasudeva to walk safely. And this river is not small. It was like a black carpet spread. It's like an ocean. Yamuna is black color. Kalindi. So Yamuna was like a black carpet. So Yamuna beautifully got separated and gave way. And Vasudeva was carrying Krishna in between Yamuna. So what Yamuna did, Yamuna rose on the both sides. Even above Vasudeva, Yamuna rose like a huge compound wall, waves rising much high. The whole idea of Yamuna was to simply see the beautiful feet of Krishna and the beautiful face of Krishna. And the Yamuna was rising up and up and up, right? And splashing, showering waters on Krishna, doing Pada Bisheka. Then suddenly Ananta was worried. Oh, it is raining and Yamuna is splashing water. So I need to protect Krishna. So immediately Ananta appeared and formed an umbrella without Vasudeva's knowledge. And Krishna was lying in the basket above Vasudeva's head. Krishna was lying in his bed and licking his feet, you know, and asking Ananta, who asked you to come? Why are you coming now? This is not your time. Then Ananta says, said, no, my Lord, it, you will get wet. It's water everywhere. It's raining from the sky. And, you know, Yamuna is splashing. So Krishna said, don't worry. I, I, I live in water for yugas and yugas together. You don't worry. If you want, you protect Vasudev. So a beautiful conversation was taking place between Krishna and Ananta. And Vasudeva is in bliss, carrying the basket above his head and with tears in his eyes and walking. That is why Yamuna is called Charanamrit because Yamuna is just water that has washed the lotus feet of Krishna. Acharyas have said, Simply meditatively calling Yamuna's name itself is enough to give Krishna Prema to a living entity. Deeply thinking of Yamuna and calling Yamuna, you know, that word, the chanting Yamuna's name itself is enough to give Krishna Prema. So that is why Acharyas used to bow down to Yamuna. Prabhupada also went to Brahmanda Ghat in Gokul. 
and that is the only place prabhupad was like inside the water of yamuna spent long time in brahmanda ghat with his senior disciples splashing water and pouring water on his body and uh, you know prabhupad actually took bath in yamuna in brahmanda ghat such a, such a this thing so we simply pray at the lotus feet of yamuna because yamuna told krishna that if anybody comes and takes bath in my water i promise you i will wash their papa as well as punya also ganga mata is not like that ganga is like a mother broad hearted but yamuna is saki so she will wash all our papa and all our punya also which means we are qualified for liberation right our punya will also get washed off our papa will also get washed off so now we pray at the lotus feet of yamuna and madhuvan is the place where krishna appeared even though krishna spent most of his times in vrindavan but madhuvan is that forest where krishna appeared the nectarian forest in the in the prison house in the night when all the seasons and stars were at their peak the beautiful supreme lord appeared from the heart of vasudeva to devaki's heart first he appeared with a four handed form and immediately devaki started crying because devaki for three janmas she is accepting krishna as her son first as kashyapa and aditi then as prishni garba and suthapa and third as vasudeva and devaki to accept supreme lord as his son is not easy only a person who is as pure as gold can accept that supreme lord and purana says a beautiful comparison about krishna when krishna appeared actually devaki prayed to krishna and said krishna you know please don't appear with all this sankha chakra gada you know you know kamsa will easily understand you please appear as a normal person so krishna took his supreme original form and appeared a beautiful baby charming kandarpa koti kamaniya vishesha shobham govinda madi purusham tamaham bajami one kandarpa is enough you know then when when kandarpa kandarpa means cupid kamadeva then kamadeva shoots one arrow at us we will be completely illusionized in this material world we will see material beauties in this world and we will get mesmerized if he shoots one arrow so what to speak about the whole cure of arrows which he has got and what to speak about his personality like that kodi tau millions of kandarpas will see krishna and get uh, mesmerized so you can understand the beauty of krishna kandarpa koti kamaniya vishesha shobham shobha that glory glory it is not a normal glory vishesha glory special glory so beautiful lord was that lord appeared the sun was humiliated and it seems the sun hid himself and even the moon hid himself they they hid somewhere else so brilliant they just be glowing beautiful so krishna appeared in the prison and devaki fainted so all these wonderful leelas happened in madhuvan so once again we pray at the lotus feet of lotus feet of dhruva at the lotus feet of ambarish maharaj and we will meditate on yamuna that we have started this seven day six days journey in vrindavan virtually let us be able to practice this vratas humility so that we can attain love of godhead thank you very much prabhu hare krishna